hello there for this video i'm going to show you how to make these tiny these little either pops of color or just regular tags that you could put words on or put little images or whatever on but look at the sh the sizes and shapes of these tags that i've made and i used a cheerios box just a little small square or rectangle another piece some of these are finished and some are not but it's not pretty just for a pop of color for on a card i had this nice big word love so i wanted to make that one into it the word friend the word special so these ones need to be finished a warm hello that one needs to be finished this one's all done look at how little they are <laughs> look at this is that adorable or what? That's just so tiny. Look at this little one. <laughs> That's just so cute. This one here was actually packaging. So that was behind a, I got a, a punch. It was, it was the back, the back cardboard on a punch. So, and I liked that so much. So I saved it. This was part of a, a greeting card, a store-bought greeting card. And I liked it. I had that little piece left. This was just a pretty piece of paper that I saved. I put the words on it and this is just Cheerios cardboard. Another little tag and this I I mean I love these little piece these little tiny ones to make little bitty tags out of they're just so cute and a long skinny one this is just a piece of washi tape that somebody had on their envelope and I put it on the cardboard made it into a tag again just for a little pop of color and this is a way to use it isn't that neat the long skinny one instead of a banner use the tag as a pop of color so this is what I'm this is what I'm doing this is how I'm making them I just have see this little bit and this is what made me think of doing the little teeny tiny ones is because I looked in my scrap box, uh, box of, of papers and I just pulled out all the little smallest ones that I had in here and see like this one here whoops I mean it's so cute <laughs> But you can use it still and see and sometimes i'll save little bits and pieces like this just because they're so pretty and i want to use them some way somehow so this this is the way that i can do that oh there's a flag in there so i've got so there i've got these three pieces here so i can make these three into a tag while while you're watching how's that so and also i'm doing you want to make sure though you can't see the box behind because i like to make sure that this part is showing instead of the colored side but if your paper if you can see the through it then I would definitely glue it on the other side instead because most of the time you're not going to see the back portion anyways so but you can do it either way for some reason I just I th think it looks kind of a little bit neater to to have the cardboard look on the back so when I can then I do it if I can't then sometimes I, can't, I just can't but look at this long little skinny piece here so I can certainly put something in there. And that's what made me think about doing them these sizes because I've, I've seen some really adorable little tiny tags like this and they're usually jewelry tags is usually where, where I've seen them. And I just think that's such a cute idea to make that into a little pop of color for, for on something. And it doesn't matter if they're perfectly even, they can be unique by making them any shape that you have. There, see, that one fits perfect on there. Will that fit in there? Down a little bit farther, it will. Right there, it will. Alrighty, very good. So we can move these ones over. And we can go ahead and cut these out. And see, and I can make more out of those. I love trying to find ways to use and to repurpose things. And this is definitely a great repurpose, I think. Because for a little spot of color, I mean, that is just so cute, I think. Such a fun idea. And I've made 
small tags before, but I've never made them in this for this reason and in this way. Very similar, but not necessarily just like this. So this is fun. All right, so these ones can be thrown away. So now I've got these three, so now I just need my little hole punch, and I can punch a little hole either in the corner. On these smaller ones, I kind of like to do it in the corner better. Just so that way it's out of the way. There. And then we just need some string. Oops, the string's right here, Barbara. Strings on some of these. That is really cute. <laughs> it's just so little. But it's like the perfect size to just drop onto a card somewhere. So what do you think of this idea? This is like extreme scraps. <laughs> All these little bits of cardboard and little bits and pieces of paper but it's just another fun thing that we can make. Sometimes I'll go to the store and just the craft stores and just look around at all the, the embellishments that they have or I'll go online and I'll just look up embellishments just to see what kind of embellishments there are. And the ones that I seem to like the most are the, are the ones that just add a little bit of color and I love the word ones. I love word ones and anything flowery. But aren't they this pretty? Look at how little these are. And I love these long skinny ones. These remind me of the, um, the stone necklaces. They're just so pretty. Oh, this one needs, that one needs string too. This one does too. This one needs some hole punched in it. There, I think that's good. Alrighty. I think I've got them. Oops, that one needs string too. Okay, I will do that when I get off. But I just wanted to share this idea with you and I hope you like this idea. And again, I'll give you a close up of this one. Isn't that fun? Just so simple, just a piece of cardboard and a little piece of paper and a little bit of string. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.